quick shout out to my favorite everyday cologne, the Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men EDT cologne. This is my favorite everyday kind of casual use, casual wear cologne. Obviously I, I have and I use other colognes if you've seen on the channel before, but this is my one I wear pretty much 80 to 90% of the time these days. I've been wearing it since 2011. Great scent, goes well with my particular body scent. It has base notes of deep dry down of tobacco and ambery notes along with cedarwood, top notes of grapefruit, coriander, and basil, heart notes of spicy and warm notes of cardamom and ginger, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, so very modern yet rugged old school scent, I like that. It goes well with my particular body scent, and that, that leads me on to my next thing. You don't bathe in cologne, you know, just a quick spray on the neck, spray on the chest or whatever. Don't bathe in this stuff. Make sure you're clean first, obviously. It's not meant to replace a shower or anything like that. You gotta have a good hygiene. So make sure you're getting a good shower first. I prefer a good chemical-free body wash, such as something like this Everyone Soap for Every Man. Great smell on this stuff, by the way. Love it. And for your deodorant, something like the Toms for Men All Natural Mountain Spring. No aluminum or fragrances or chemicals or you know artificial nonsense, right? This stuff's great. So especially if you want to have kids, you want to make sure you don't have a lot of chemicals and aluminum and stuff like that going into your body, guys. Same with your, your body wash. You don't want to have a lot of chemicals and nonsense like that that you're using too often, right? So you want to smell good before you put this on. You'll continue smelling good throughout the day. So you can also do the whole pulse points thing. You know, some people put it on their wrist or, you know, on their, their pulse points on their neck or whatever. I don't do all that nonsense. A little spray on the neck, chest, whatever, you're good. You know, some people do the pulse point, you know, by the, it's like by your jaw and by your, your ears, like right on your pulse. You can, you can do that or behind the ears. They have one there too. And there's some other pulse points. I don't know, but I don't do all that. You don't want this stuff to trail behind you. You want it to smell good when people want to smell you when they get in close to you. So you don't want to smell up your whole office or wherever you're going. You, you know, you go into a restaurant and you leave a trail behind you. That's not what you're trying to do. So great cologne. I love it. So I bought this. This is like the 1.6 ounce. This is a small version. So I bought this around Christmas last year. And it's been almost a year now. They have a big value size version that goes up to five ounces. And that would take me years to use, and I don't want to take years to use cologne, so I buy the smaller ones, because the scent does dissipate with time. And that leads me on to my next point, that you should really, I really recommend going in person to buy your colognes, because you can check the date on the bottom of the cologne or on the box to see when it was made. You want to make sure it's made in the last year, and that it's a fresh scent, because it does dissipate with time. So, another thing, these are highly counterfeited online like Amazon and eBay and stuff like that you'll get a fake one or you'll get something like that now if you buy from like you know Sephora Alta Macy's places like that online you should be good but you can't check the date on it like you could in person at the store and my next point is try the scent on before you buy any kind of cologne you can go to Alta or somewhere like that get a small sample of it use it on your body for a couple days and see how it interacts with your body scent and everything like that right because it may smell good out of the bottle you may be like oh this smells great and then you spray it on it mixes with your body a couple hours later you're like I'm not too crazy about this smell depending on what cologne it is right so every cologne, just because it smells good, may not be particularly for you. Your body scent may not interact well with your body washes, etc. right? So always try before you buy on colognes. I highly recommend that. But this one has always worked great for me and served me well over the years. Obviously, I have other colognes that I love, like Pie by Givenchy and Dior Sauvage and, and stuff like that. But excellent everyday cologne. That's what I wear 80 to 90% of the time when I'm walking around. People are like, oh, you smell so great. What do you wear? Blah, blah, blah. And um, this is it right here. Not, not too complicated. Not super expensive. I'd say it's a mid-level price range cologne. Not bad. It can, it can be had on you know, many sales and stuff like that. Many bargains, especially on the value size and stuff like that if you're going to use a lot. 
I think the value size, like the five ounce one, the huge one is like a little over a hundred bucks, like a box set. You get some other stuff, some, some washes or aftershaves. I don't know. I don't use all that, but I buy the small ones. I like to go through them in under a year and then buy a new one for the next year. That way your scents are strong and they're not all dissipated in a week or, you know, with time, right? So I recommend the, buying the smaller bottles of cologne, actually, instead of the big value size because they last me a long time. I don't bathe in them or anything like that. So highly recommend the old Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. Excellent cologne. Thanks for watching.